Real quick, I'm gonna show you how to get your Sony camera set up for tethering to capture one like a pro. I'm gonna assume that you already have your camera and your computer and your capture one subscription. So the only other thing that you're gonna need is a tethering cable. Uh, the tethering cable that I recommend is the tethering cable from Tethering Tools. Um, it's the orange cable. So you're gonna to wanna to get one that's specific to your camera. I uh, primarily shoot on the Sony a7R 3 So for me, that's gonna be a USB-C on one end and my MacBook takes a USB-C on the other end as well. So I'm gonna leave a uh, link in the description for this cable. So let's get into the first thing that you wanna do to prep your camera uh, for tethering. Uh, so what you wanna do is go into your menu and change a couple settings. I'm gonna bring on my camera so I can show you real quick. The thing you wanna do is hop into your menu uh, with the Sony a7R 3 as well as the Sony a7 III. Uh, this is gonna look the same exact way that your camera looks right now. But if you have any other Sony camera, you're gonna be able to find this setting in your menu. Um, it just may not be as specific. Uh, so we're gonna go over to the toolbox, go down to setup, we're gonna go to menu number four in setup, and then we're gonna go to USB connection and make sure that says PC remote. Now, if you have control with smartphone turned on, you're gonna have to turn that off because you're not gonna be able to um, adjust this setting with that um, feature on. So make sure that's off and then come over here and go to PC remote. And then you wanna slide down to PC remote settings and click on that. And what this is, is this is telling your camera where to save the images that you take. So right now you wanna have it on PC plus camera, not PC only. Um, reason being, you don't only wanna save your images to your computer uh, because if your computer crashes, then you lose those files. So what this does is save it to the computer as well as save it to your memory card. So make sure that it's PC plus camera. Okay, so once you have this step out of the way, it's pretty much plug and play from here on out. All I have to do is plug in your tethering cable into your computer and then to your camera. Uh, you know it's set up when you go to the uh, camera tab here in Capture One and it shows that your camera is recognized by the uh, software. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up below um, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like these. I appreciate you for watching. Peace.